हेलो लर्नर्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम ह्यूमन एनाटॉमी एंड फिजियोलॉजी विच इज एब्रीवेटेड एज एच ए पी वेर इन दिस इज पार्ट टू वी आर गोइंग टू कवर अगेन फ्यू ऑफ द एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम पार्ट टू सो द फर्स्ट एम सी क्यू इज द ब्लड प्रेशर इज द प्रेशर विच इज एक्सर्टेड बाय ब्लड अगेन्स्ट डैश whether the blood pressure is the pressure exerted by the blood against the kidney whether it is against the artery walls whether it is against the brain or against the stomach come on all of you put your answers in the comment section fast till that we will go for the explanation and later on you can verify your answer for each and every question now the explanation includes the blood pressure if you will see here it is nothing but it is the pressure which is exerted on the artery walls okay because of see this is the build up of plaque wherein if it is in normal condition the normal blood pressure will be 120 by 80 if it is narrows up then the blood pressure will increase and if it is widen it if it widens up then the blood pressure will fall so the correct answer is it is nothing but artery wall blood pressure is the pressure which is exerted by the blood against the artery wall next question is blood pressure is measured in terms of dash whether the blood pressure is measured in terms of millimeters of mercury whether it is measured in terms of millimeter only whether it is centimeter of mercury or only mercury which among the given is the correct answer you can put your answer in the comment section we can verify it later on so if you will talk about the blood pressure generally 120 by 80 mm of hg is the normal blood pressure wherein it is measured in millimeters of mercury if you will see here okay the sphygmomanometer wherein Uh, the mercury levels will indicate the reading of the blood pressure which is 120 by 80 mm of hg having a normal blood pressure so the correct answer if you will say it is millimeter of hg the blood pressure is measured in terms of millimeter of hg mercury next question is the basic unit of kidney is dash whether the basic unit of the kidney is glomerulus or nephron or lo uh, or loop of henle or none of these what amongst the given is the basic unit of the kidney if you will talk about the nephron wherein you can find the magnified image of the nephron which is a basic structural and functional unit of the kidney wherein the structure of nephron you can see it is glomerulus then pct then loop of henle then dct and collecting ducts so this is nothing but nephron the correct answer is nephron which is the basic unit of the kidney next question is glucose reabsorption takes place mainly in dash whether the glucose reabsorption takes place mainly in distal convoluted tubule whether it is in collecting duct whether it is in pct that is proximal convoluted tubule or loop of henle you can put your answer in the comment section fast till that we will go for the explanation and later on you can verify your answer the glucose is generally reabsorbed in the pct that is proximal convoluted tubule which you can see here various ions okay then glucose vitamins etc these all are reabsorbed from the pct that is proximal convoluted tubule regardless of the concentration gradient via the secondary active transport so the active transporter like here you can see sodium dependent glucose transporter sglt 1 2 these are involved in the glucose reabsorption okay here see you can see two sodium and one glucose 
सो द करेक्ट आन्सर इज इट इज पी सी टी प्रॉक्सिमल कन्वोल्यूटेड ट्यूब्यूल द ग्लूकोज रिएब्जॉर्प्शन विल टेक प्लेस इन द प्रॉक्सिमल कन्वोल्यूटेड ट्यूब्यूल्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द हॉर्मोन कंसर्न विद द बेसिक मेटाबॉलिक रेट इज डैश वेदर द हॉर्मोन विच इज कंसर्न विद द बी एम आर इज थायरोक्सिन इट इज पैराथॉर्मोन इट इज एड्रीनालिन और कैल्सिटोनिन विच अमॉन्ग द गिवन हॉर्गो हॉर्मोन इज विद द बे इज इज टू बी डील विद द बेसल मेटा बेसिक मेटाबॉलिक रेट यू कैन पुट युअर आंसर्स इन द कमेंट सेक्शन टिल दैट वी विल गो फॉर द एक्सप्लेनेशन नाउ हियर द हॉर्मोन विच इज कंसर्न विद द बी एम आर इट इज नथिंग बट इट इज टी थ्री थाइरोक्सिन टी थ्री टी फोर ओके सो हियर वॉट हैपन्स द हॉर्मोन विल इंक्रीज द मेटाबॉलिज्म इन ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द सेल्स ऑफ द बॉडी हियर यू कैन सी इंक्रीज मेटाबॉलिक वेस्ट प्रोडक्शन ओके so this excess quantity of hormone can increase the bmr that is basal metabolic rate so the correct answer is if you will see it is thyroxine which is the hormone which increases the basal metabolic rate next question is the longest skeletal muscle is dash whether the longest skeletal muscle amongst the skeletal muscle is bicep whether it is quadricep and femoris whether it is supinator or sartorius which amongst the given is the longest skeletal skin all of you can put your answers in the comment section then we will go for the explanation now if you will talk about the longest skeletal muscle here in the image you can see that it is sartorius the longest muscle from here you can see the longest muscle in the human body okay from uh, which is joining the hip and knee joints which is the longest muscle that is sartorius muscle so the correct answer is it is sartorial the longest skeletal muscle is sartorius next question is which tarsal bone forms the heel of the foot foot ke heel mein aisa kaun sa tarsal bone hai jo heel form karta hai matlab forms the heel of the foot whether it is talus whether it is calcaneus whether it is navicular or cuboid the correct answer is it is calcaneus which you can verify now the calcaneus is nothing but it is the calcaneus forms the heel of the foot here you can see okay which deals with the heel so the correct answer is it is calcaneus the tarsal bone from the heel of the foot is calcaneus next question is the lymph fluid is whether the lymph fluid is colorless whether it is reddish whether it is light brown whether it is pinkish the lymph fluid is which color amongst the given color now the lymph is nothing but it is a colorless fluid which is made up of water protein sugar fats etc so the lymph if you will talk about the lymph it is colorless okay the fluid which contains wbcs okay and which is which circulates throughout the lymphatic system so the correct answer is it is colorless the lymph fluid is colorless next question is what is autocrine whether the local hormones steroids biogenic amines or none of them which amongst the given is an autocrine if you will see here in the explanation the local hormones if you will see autocrine is the cell signaling process the molecule acts on the same cell which produces them autocrine is nothing but where the cells are produced there only this will act okay so this is nothing but autocrine beta cell okay then the insulin 
सो ऑटोक्राइन इज नथिंग बट इट इज एन लोकल हॉर्मोन ओके विथ दिस वी फिनिश विथ फ्यू ऑफ द एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम ह्यूमन एनेटॉमी एंड फिजियोलॉजी पार्ट टू स्टेट्यून विथ अस फॉर फर्दर मोर पार्ट्स ऑन ह्यूमन एनेटॉमी एंड फिजियोलॉजी थैंक यू